Hi my diecast friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a few B case finds that I found about a week ago, week and a half ago. So first up, here is the Mazda Repo. Uh, great casting. Uh, this is the first one where I've actually now got it. Sorry about the light. With front right decals. Uh, rubbing the extra detail on this one. Rear decals and beautiful orange on a short card great casting anyway everybody i hope everybody's fine keeping well so that's the first one i'm going to be showing you today the second one is the 55 chevy so this this is 50 so i believe either in the a case or b case this was the super treasure one so but Rubbing this one, rubbing the metallic blue, the side de detail, proper classic American car, rubbing the rear detail, though it'd be nice to have right tempos on the rear, but yeah, so that's another one, so we'll put Bob Air up there, so that's two, it's just nice to actually find some castings because it's been really hard in the UK as it has been for a lot of people in the States not, just not finding cars so again here we have the 76 Greenwood Corvette great casting this um, loving the blue and yellow combination or <clears throat> it's like a metallic blue great detailing so I'm really happy just to find some new some new castings because it's been so hard actually finding anything guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So here we have the Ford Focus. If we can get it to focus, there you go. RS in like a pale blue, baby blue with stripes. The only I like the RS focus casting. The only thing I wish that Hot Wheels would do is to give it some front and rear right tempos, right decos. It just needs them to finish it off, so that's that one. Then, a bit of fun this one is the Disney Steamboat. Good old Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. So, I think we've all seen this. So again, just a bit of fun to put into the collection. So my my grandkids will enjoy that one. So that's one of the main reasons why I bought it really for the grandkids. Also, I tell myself. And the next one up is the Quick Bite, which is the treasure hunt. Which you should see the silver treasure hunt there, and so we've got the Quick Bite. Very happy to have this one. There you go. Just a bit of fun to have in the collection. It's a treasure hunt, so it's got we've got to have it. Then next up is the 20 Jeep Gladiator from the Bars and Series. There she is. In the Bar of Rivery. So I've now got a few Jeep Gladiators, but everybody seems to be a big fan of the Barra, so very happy to have that one in the collection. Um, so nice to be back and actually finding some cars at last. Then we've got the 55 Chevy Barra Gasser, um, Jurassic 5. Um, I believe this is going to come out right, right in the year. Uh, in the different colour variation, so looking forward to that because I have got into collecting gases. I'm hoping to do some custom gases soon. Um, I'll put that down to watching Uix Hot Wheels. Um, Uix is a great American customizer. Um, does a lot of customs. So if you guys watch his channel, because it's definitely worth worth watching. So happy to have that one. As I say, it's just great finding some B case because I've been searching for them for so long. 
and not finding anything these I actually found in my local Tesco's a new case then when we've got the BMW 3 liter CSL race car I believe this is a supercharged one as well great cast in this proper classic BMW um, beautiful very happy to find that one it was on my bucket list to find towards the top um, again the one was the Toyota AE86 uh, Sprinter well, great white decals on the rear this one proper detailing um, very proper casting with JDM characters so this will soon disappear off the shelves so I managed to get a couple of those uh, another one found was the 1970 Pontiac Firebird all wheels legends tour car so this was a actual real car love the engine bay detail and the open bonnet uh, beautiful casting Firebirds we all like a Firebird by deck house to the rear another classic American car part of the Regions, Obvious Regions series so happy to find that one another uh, one for me, Volkswagen Beetle new, new Corway version so, uh, I like Be Beetles and V-dubs so very happy to find this one um, so that one's definitely gone into the collection uh, I know there's another Corway version coming out soon so hopefully I will get my hands on that one a uh, bit of fun on this one the Volkswagen tuned Volkswagen Golf Mark 1 definitely a bit of fun be nice to see a Mark 1 standard casting come out maybe a GTI or a racing version but yeah proper just a little bit of fun so I actually quite like that casting and we've got the 85 Honda City Turbo 2 in a nice green um, avocado green I suppose I'm not too sure what you call it but yeah it's quite nice for such a small casting it's quite a heavy little casting it shows me obviously Rio's rides um, one of his classic cars that he made for all his hot wheelers then we've got 16 Cadillac 88 SVR beautiful ready maroon colour is this uh, I think the only reason I bought it really was for the paintwork nice details to the front not much detailing to the rear but side details do stand out very very nice casting heavy as well guys then what we got next next we've got the 19 mercedes benz a class obviously all wheels have released quite a few versions of this now colorways and there's some further ones coming this year um obviously white stripe on the front white decals mercedes benz badge uh, number plate uh really suits it with the white wheels Obviously, I like this casting because it just comes with all the de detail in front and rear. It, it just makes it just pop a bounce. Great casting. Very like that one. So that one's in the collection. Then another one we've got. The Mighty K. Another Rio's Rides. Again, great real casting this. Uh, great real straight board in the rear white tempos on the rear and back homage to the great Hot Wheels designer proper Masada yes mate we, we miss you never, never be forgotten for all the great castings that you've done fabulous little thing that is so happy to find that 
still haven't found the the Jedi the Sierra RS five hundred Cosworth. Just can't find it anywhere. Um, been looking this week, still not finding it. Seventies Chevy Cheval racer. Every cast in this one again. A great colour, rubbing the stripes. Proper American muscle. Uh, I think that's the reason why I bought it. I do like some of my American muscle cars. So I will say I have got a few in the collection. Um, I, I just can't help myself. And then next up is one, one of my favourites. Um, was definitely on the top of the radar. The car in F1. GTR and it's like minty green uh, As you all know guys Everybody says this is probably going to be one of the highlights of the year in the main line Stunning really nice detail in front and back uh, Could have done with some rear detailing, but we can't have everything uh, I know it's going to be coming out in another couple of variations color wise this year so We've already had the silver one, I think. I'm sure I've got a silver one in the collection, so happy to have that one anyway. Um, I've got a couple of those, and obviously, being a bit of a Porsche nut, I had a few 935s, so I managed to find a few more 935s to go into the collection. Um, at a B case, I was really looking forward to this one, so. Definitely got a few Porsches in the collection, so very happy to have that. And apart from the only thing I'm really missing now from BK's is the Black Ford Sierra RS500. So hoping to find that soon, but if not, um, we'll wait till we actually find one in the wild. Oh, we're throwing them everywhere. Wait till we actually find them in the wild because I'm just not going to pay the inflated prices that are on Evil Bay at the minute. Um, Straupers are just going and straupping them all when there's no need to, but you know, and selling them for profit. Well, I'm sorry, this guy's not going to pay over inflated prices for the cars, even if I want one. I will wait till I can get one for a decent price. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. Give me a thumb up, thumbs up, press the right button, and leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next one.